All right, fresh out the shower. It is Friday, just got paid. Now it's time to gas up, pick up some monsters and do some legendary raids. All the birds should be out. So that means Articuno, Zapdos and uh, Moltres. So we're gonna go out, try and get in some raids, um, do some stuff like that. But like I said, before we do anything, we need to get some caffeine. So let's do that right now. We have just barely now made it out and it's already late. It's seven, so that means that uh, the raids are already finishing up. You take a look behind me, the sun is already going down. So we're not gonna be able to do any raids like I had planned. I really wanted to do some of those legendaries, go for um, a Zapdos and an Articuno most of all because I don't have a good Articuno. So anyway, the sun is going down and no more time for raids, but we can still um, hatch up the eggs. I can buy my box go and uh, get some new eggs to put in there and then try and get some of those region locks. Uh, Farfetch, Mr. Mime, Genghis Khan, and uh, well, Tauros we already got because we are in the US. So, you know, there's Tauros is not necessarily left and right, but they are kind of around. So here in the US, we do have those. But Genghis Khan, Farfetch, Mr. Mime. Those three, gonna try and get those. But like I said, I do have to make some space because all of my egg slots are full. So I'm gonna have to get started on that right now. So we've got the game open and right here at the store that I just came out of, we've got plenty of stuff right here. We've got a gym right here so I can get my first stop of the day. This should be uh, number three if this thing would hurry up. The game's running kind of slow. So we got that, um, uh, should have got in there, but let's see. Now I am ultra friends with Aww. Bella Nate 1988 which I should have had a lucky egg going but you know I had no idea that was gonna happen and well I probably should have put on a lucky egg anyway because this is my first catch so that would have been a uh, double XP for that and come on here we go getting that we're just gonna breeze straight through that I'm gonna get in this gym also which I should have done when I hit the stop but just completely blocked it out I'm gonna put a Zapdos, no, I mean not a Zapdos. I'm just so like, I needed to go and do those raids. Uh, put a Jolteon in there. And I will also claim my reward right there. Oh, damn it. And this is my seven day streak. I mean, oh, a no. seven day stamp. Um, hit that with an excellent throw. I am just all over the place right now. I can't even think. But we got that one first throw of, uh, come on, we'll clear out of that and I might as well set off a lucky egg because, let's see, I don't remember if lucky eggs come in the box that I was just about to get or not, but either way. Only the ultra box, I think. Uh, Rebecca's saying that only the ultra box does from what she remembers, but we're going to double that XP to 6,000, I'm assuming unless that was already double and then Entai right here at 1410 I have no idea why I was gonna throw a pin out very at it I am gonna try and catch this guy Cause you wait a guaranteed for catch, that, you might as well get that extra candy. Oh, and I really undershot that one my fingers are really dry right now from being at work uh, yeah I guess I might as well just try pin out berry just for the fun of it and if this guy would just stay still I probably should have thrown a nana berry Missed the accuracy on that one too. Um, throwing for the Nana Berry because this guy is wily. And I threw that way too late. Got a nice throw on it. Um, it'll probably stay in because it was a nice throw instead of an excellent. Now I jumped out anyway. Switching up to Ultra Balls. Throwing the Pin App at, I mean, uh, Nana Berry at it. Still missed the accuracy throw. I don't see why I keep missing these. Uh, there we go. Critical catch on it, though, so that's pretty cool. My anti was caught, and we got the stuff for that. I will do an IV check on that guy later, but I am going to open this up. I should have enough if this notification will get out of my way. 774. It doesn't even make sense. Just get enough for the Ultra Ball. 774. I'll probably have to go and buy some coins for that. Um, I guess I might as well get this one, too, which is probably going to be another Mankey. Uh, no, Roselia. I guess this was for the uh, Send 5 Gifts. 702 for the CP. Nana Berry. And way overshot that one. Why is this guy so close? I can 
barely even move my finger and I'm already overshooting it. Um, stay in there. I'm going to have to get some um, poke coins so that way I can get that middle box because that is the one that I want and I need that so that way I can get um, eggs and all that good stuff. So I will be back at some point whenever I do that stuff. So here we go. Our first spawn for this uh, little late night excursion. A Hitmonchan at 468. I probably should have thrown a berry at it, but you know. Um, we're just going to try and catch this guy real quick because there should be a load of Kanto Pokemon out right now. So that means that some of the cool ones are going to be out. Like, uh, let's take Hitmonchan for instance, which is out and about right now. So I'm going to hit this stop, hopefully get a gift, send a gift all that fun stuff and try and find some other cool Pokemon just out and about right now. So yeah, there we go. A wild Hitmonchan for like no reason. And now we are here in Old Town finally. Like I said, it's already nighttime. I'm standing in front of a, uh, some kind of store. Some grandfather's eagles jewelry. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're there and then if I turn this way, see? Everything is dark and it is already nighttime. So anyway, we are here and now I'm going to be able to get my box, um, start putting things in incubators, all that good stuff, and start trying to hatch some things. Because, you know, need to hatch some stuff. Um, I only have one more lucky egg. I uh, don't remember if the box that I just got had lucky eggs in it or not, but I did get the box. I almost never do that, but this is going to be cool. So. Um, trying to get those things incubating and then get started on walking around and trying to find something So I've got all my eggs incubating and first guy to pop up right here is a ghastly at 119 CP I'm gonna throw a pin at berry at that and try and get an accuracy throw. Nope completely missed it I'm trying to push a stroller while doing this with one hand using only my thumb to throw so yeah let me just stop for a second and try and get a good one because this guy is kind of far back and overshot it but it's better than undershooting it because if I would have undershot it then I would have undershot it yeah. so and there we go it stays in so we'll check that one out or probably just transfer it because it's a low CP so we did miss the raids but we are out and it is pretty cool because we are catching a whole bunch of different stuff that almost never comes up there's plenty of Pokestops around, plenty of gyms, so we can hit everything that we could possibly hit, not even have to worry about balls, and this is just turning out to be a pretty good night. And we're walking around, and I always feel like I'm in a better mood when we're walking around, <clears throat> as opposed to just being inside the car. Um, whenever we're walking around, you know, you always feel better, get the, you know, fresh air, even if it's really hot, you know, you still feel way better whenever you're walking around. So we're gonna keep walking, keep hitting stops, keep catching Pokemon, and just have a good night for the rest of the night. So we ran into a wild Hitmonchan, now we're running into a wild Hitmonlee right here. And this is pretty cool because <clears throat> Hitmonlee 915, but it's pretty cool because you know these guys never come out. Every now and then you'll find one of them just like out and about, but now they're just like kind of really all over the place and these are some of my favorite Pokemon too. Uh, the ghost types and the fighting types. Even though these guys normally don't get all that good, um, I still think that they're pretty cool. Ugh. All right, nice throw on that one. Um, just waiting for that dodge to happen. Hopefully it'll stay in there because these guys are a little feisty. Nope. Um, let's just go for a regular raspberry then. And I am running low on balls, so great throw. Let's hope he stays in there. I guess it's a good thing to have We got a shake. Uh, another shake. And no, he still jumped out. This guy is just feisty. Um, we want to speed this up because we want to catch as many cool Pokemon that almost never come up. And this is one of them. It's weird how the ring is so high above it, but we got an excellent throw on it either way. So if this guy jumps out, this is going to be ridiculous. All right, he stayed in on the Golden Raspberry Ultra Ball combo right there. Catch, five, uh, catch 10 Pokemon, 5 out of 10, so that's also cool has a good um, move set, but we'll check that one out later. Let's see if I can hit a stop. All right, got a stop, got a present. Good. Now we can uh, catch the seal and other stuff. So uh, we're catching a bunch of cool stuff and 
I just wanted to start videoing this because we've never actually walked here even though we've been coming here for like three years but we've never actually walked around and if you take a look behind me there's a lot of pretty cool stuff like these stairwells that look all like super cool and old and just the way that the building is like that way and then if we look this way wild onyx that might actually not even come up the right way because I think everything comes up backwards in my videos because this is like on selfie mode or something but there is a lot of cool stuff like all over this place and it's strange because like I said we've actually come here for a couple of years and we've never actually walked through it um, tomorrow we might even stop in a couple of shops or something because there's a lot of interesting things here we just you know never have any time and when we do have time we get here and it's already dark it's late everything's closed like it is right now but it is pretty cool just to like walk around through all of these things and see all of this like old style um, wild west type of um, architecture see like we hold it up right there you can like barely get a barely get a look because that's the second floor but it does look pretty cool and uh, this that's just like one section of this place but it's pretty awesome and there are plenty of Pokemon to catch and yes there was already a Charmander day and everybody's already caught their fill of Charmanders but I still happen to think that Charmander is pretty cool and it also has a chance at a shiny which with this one is not but at 392 that's okay we're gonna throw a pin out berry I mean a Nana berry at it because this guy already is jumping quite a bit right off the bat so hit that one with the curve throw no accuracy on it and it jumped right out uh, again I am trying to do this while pushing a stroller with one hand and using the uh, phone with my other so it is kind of difficult but I'm pretty sure you can hear the baby crying a little bit. She likes to go walking in the stroller and that usually suits her. So it is starting to get late now um, and dark. I don't even know if this bit will come out because I was planning on doing this a little bit more back there where the lights shine but I can't get too far away from the little one. So um, that's that. We caught several uh, several different types of Pokemon that we normally don't see. We got Porygon, we got Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, a uh, bunch of Machops. We got a whole bunch of other stuff that normally does come up. Uh, I got my box, got my eggs incubating. So far only one egg has hatched and uh, that was an Onyx. So that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, everything else is incubating. It should be hatching tomorrow if I am lucky. So, um, uh, so we're walking back to the car right now so that Rebecca could feed the baby and there is a very rare spawn which this guy never comes out um, since the event has come out it has been out and more active but other than that those guys are never out so at a 596 CP um, I have one pin out berry so I'm going to give it the one pin out berry Ultra Ball Ooh. and okay missed that ball, one ball, and there we go wait Let for him to go back oh I just keep missing it Don't. Alexa's pulling on the stroller she's gonna flip Let it over on herself and at the same time fling herself into the road so let's see nice throw right there hopefully this one will stay in uh, one two and three excellent so we got that guy with the pin out berry, so that'll give us six candies, and we will save that for the evolution. So I was trying to close it out um, in front of the fountain because it looked really cool, but the lighting was bad. The baby was running around trying to, you know, do a bunch of stuff like get into the fountain, which normally is pretty fun, but you know, uh, we probably would get in trouble for that so we're trying not to get in trouble and not swim in fountains so this is the end of the video um, hit the like button subscribe and stick around for the next one